Hello everyone, this is Ayushri. Welcome back to my channel, The Art Rhythm, where I share my art knowledge with you. Today I am going to show you how to create group of three mermaids in Patachitra painting style, step by step. Please watch this video without skipping, otherwise you may miss some important information related to the Patachitra painting. Medium that is required for this painting is watercolor paper of 300 CSM. You can also use handmade papers, few fine and long hair brushes that is most important for this painting. Next we need a black marker or a black gel pen. If you are not comfortable to do outlining with brush then you can use this marker and ruler to make the border and pencil to make the rough sketch. In any folk art form, there is very limited color palette. The Chitrakars only use the primary colors. But for this painting, I added few more colors to my color palette. And these all are acrylic colors by Apple Barrel Matte Mediums. Now let me show you how to draw the sketch of the marmot. Here I am draw a straight line first. Later I will draw all the figure based on this line. Now at the top of this line, I make a circle which is going to be our face of the marmot. In Patachitra painting, we see that the face and the other features are very rounded except the eyes. So here I sketching out the figure using a pencil as I always say that if you are drawing or illustrated any designs by your own, so do use your pencil. Later you can use black paint or marker over this sketch. In Patachitra, side profile is mostly seen. When we see the full figures, it's very curvy and the waist is very thin for the female. Even for the male, we see broad shoulder and thin waist. All you need to understand is curve lines in Patachitra painting. Once you've done it, it will be easy for you to create any figures in Patachitra. Here I already done a rough sketching as you can see and now I am stretching out the design to my main watercolor paper. You can sketch directly on the watercolor papers but sometimes if you did mistake when we sketching we need to erase it. So erase it again and again make papers very rough and then the output doesn't come really well. So please avoid those mistakes and create your art on normal drawing sheets or paper and then do it on the main paper. You can also use tracing paper for tracing your design but it should be yellow tracing paper just because yellow tracing paper doesn't lose its pigments when you are doing coloring and there is no chance to mix your color with the pigments of tracing papers.
Borders are very important parts in Patichitra painting and for the borders here I use blue and little bit of black color mix it together for dark blue tone and using a flat brush I am going to fill the borders. Using long hair liner brush creating border inside of the border after that I will fill the color. Repeating same steps for all the borders line in this painting. In Patachitra paintings, Chitra cards are mainly focused on the theme of the paintings. The theme may be classified into few. Number 1 Jagannath paintings and number 2 is Vaishnava painting, within which you further have Bhagavad painting, Ramayana painting, Shoiba painting, Shakta painting, paintings as legends, Ragha Chitras, Bandha Chitras and other social parts of paintings. Here I am choosing three groups of mermaids as my theme of Patachitra painting. In some cultures, the mermaid signifies life and fertility within the ocean.
the Patachitra styles are a mix of both folk and classical elements, but learning more towards folk forms. The dress styles has Mughal influences. All of the poses have been confined to a few well-defined postures. These are not free from monotonous repetition. The lines are bold, clean and angular and sharp. Generally, there are no landscape, perspectives and distance views. The background on which the figures are represented is delineated with decoration of flowers and foliage and is mostly painted in red colors. All the paintings are given decorative borders. The whole painting is conceived in the form of a design on a given canvas. India being the birthplace of Hinduism, these paintings and carvings is often given the highest respect as carry religious beliefs. Carrying the religious values, customs and rituals, this creative art are very unique and display tremendous patience and artistic talent. Most of their arts are in reverence to Hindu gods and goddesses and illustration of mythological stories. Needless to say, once completed these paintings were worshipped and so the artist who was the creator was highly respected. However, we see new trends and design created over clothes and accessories on lines of the Patachitra art. For coloring the sea, here I use that blue color which I already use for the border. So our base color are done. I will show the detailing part of this painting in my upcoming videos. If you don't want to miss that then please do subscribe now and hit the bell icon to get the notification of each new art related videos that I posted. And hope you like this video and if you do then do give it a thumbs up and comment into the description box below and share. Thanks for watching.